we have some harsh weather here. We have some uh, inclement uh, conditions, so we have to be pretty resilient. And uh, we're out here on our own in the Gulf of Alaska, so we take care of a lot of stuff ourselves. It's pretty remote Alaska. We're in the Gulf of Alaska, the beautiful mountains, the ocean, um, the wilderness. Uh, there's lots of opportunity here still for hardworking people. Kodiak Island's a real unique environment. Uh, we've got a great uh, industry in the fishing industry here. Um, our our community is well balanced um, within the industry. KEA is a big part of that that balancing. They they provide uh, the power that we need, and we've got a unique situation in that most of our uh, power is uh, renewable. Back many years ago, I think it was in 2007, the Board of Directors set forth a vision that we were going to be 95% renewable by 2020. And with that vision, it basically said that um, diesel is not going to be part of our future. It can be a backup, it can be a small piece, but it's really not going to be there for us. It's too expensive, it's not a clean fuel to burn. So we set aggressively out to go forth with that vision to, to move forward in a renewable way. One of the things is we're an islanded grid, so our system here runs all by itself. We're not interconnected with anybody. That makes it very different. So we have to be, we have to take care of ourselves. And that's kind of the Alaska motto anyway. By offsetting the diesel and using renewables, yes, you do introduce intermittencies into those networks. And really that's where our core business is in those remote areas. ABB are working with Kodiak Electric Association to put one of our flywheel systems in to mitigate the intermittencies in their network caused by a new crane down at the port, but also the wind farm that's up on top of the hill. Actually, that made me very excited to have a large company, a good solid company like ABB, come forward with it. And, and having all that backup and all that engineering support, these projects, when you first put them in, there's always some tweaking, always some work you've got to do. And having that kind of really brain power and engineering power behind you uh, makes the customer feel you know, a lot, lot happier a lot more confident the project's gonna come forward with a good, good resolution. The protection that we've provided to our natural resources is, is really important for our future generations. I hope that our kids can grow up to do the same things that we're doing now.